All right, so now we're going to look at components. In the case that, um, let's say I'm in object mode and I add a UV sphere. Okay, then I decide to edit the sphere by hitting tab and going into the components. Then I decide, well, I need another object in the scene. Well, oftentimes the student forgets to go back to object mode. So let's, by purpose, forget this. Let's go and add a UV sphere and move it up. Now you'll notice something, the components are highlighted on the new sphere. Okay, because when you add something in edit mode, it joins the components together. They're still separate objects, shell-wise, but they are in same as far as component value. Now you can highlight individual objects by hitting L. So L allows you to highlight this object, or L allows you to highlight this object. But anytime that you're in object mode, you'll notice that there is no separation of these two. They are one. So let's go back to edit mode. How do I make it so they are two? Well, over here you'll notice in the outliner there's one sphere. And there's all the components that make up the sphere. Notice that you can switch between object and edit mode just by going into this. If you click here, this is components, this is object. And you can tab between it by clicking and clicking. Okay, well, once you can see all your components, you can hit L on the keyboard and then go mesh, vertices, separate, selection. Now you'll notice that there's two, two spheres. Now separating um, objects and joining objects together via component level uh, gets a little bit more confusing when this happens. Okay, so let's do one more thing here. Let's take and have this one merge with this one to the point where you cannot separate them. Well, to do that, I'll illustrate it by putting this one next to this one. And I'm going to use a command here. Over here I have modifiers. I will add a modifier called Boolean. Now, this one's called 001 sphere, and the other one's called sphere. You'll see that over here in the outliner. Well, this one I want to union to the other one and hit apply. Click anywhere in the viewport and you'll notice that you still have two objects. Click on it and move it over to the right hand side. What I have done is join the components together as far as physically joining them together. If you hit tab you'll notice that I have now a new object and if I'm in perspective mode if I go inside it you'll notice that it is one object and it's hollow in the center now if I try to hit L I'll get the whole object I can't separate these two anymore it's impossible because the components are now joined together before they were just two shells, but now the two shells have merged into one object. Well, how would I separate these now? How would I separate an already joined object? The only way to do that is destroy the link between components. Let's do that. Let's go to Faces and hold uh, Shift and Alt, and we will delete these. We'll delete faces.
and L X bases. Now these two are two separate objects. In fact, I can hit L on the, this one and it's L on this one. I would need to cap this off so it doesn't have a hollow inside. Well, I could do that by going like this. Alt, Shift, and F on the keyboard. This creates a face in the area. F on the keyboard. Now this face has really bad geometry in the fact that it is one huge face that has multiple things, multiple edges going to it, and it is not divided in any way, shape, or form. But a face it is, and in print land, as far as 3D print land, this is a perfectly good piece of geometry. If you go and highlight it using face, you could potentially make it a little bit better by going into this, going into space bar, so hitting the space bar, and type in triangulate, T-R-I, so you can triangulate faces. And this will fill in that to a more usable piece of geometry. Usable in the sense that it has now uh, good division. The only bad thing about this is, again, it's just, it's only good in 3D print land. If this was a piece of geometry for a game, uh, that would be a hard sell to have. Okay. So. If you ever see that, it's no big deal to keep it the way it is, or you could triangulate it. Another nice thing about not triangulating it is this. You know, I can highlight this at any one time, hit R, and resize it. Okay? This one, I can't highlight this perfectly. The only way to do it is kind of go select linked flat faces, and now I can scale it. Okay, so that's the difference. Alright, so there's a few things about separating components that you should know about. Uh, it's You'll come back to this lesson all the time, no doubt about it, because it's the root elementary of it. So, enjoy.